The first heartwarming story from medical charity program, story about Vu Kwok Lin, survivor from the domestic violence incident in 2011. On April 27, 2011, there was an incident that shocked the whole Vietnam. Vu Kwok Lin got a fatal whole body burn and his life was threatened by his biological father's domestic violence, but he survived it. However, his whole body burn left a deep scar both physically and mentally. In the meanwhile, medical professionals from JK Plastic Surgery Clinic heard about Vu Kwok Lin's story. After that, they invited Vu Kwok Lin to Korea as a part of Medical Korea's medical charity program. There was little skin left that was normal due to the whole body burn. After the first treatment in 2011, they operated several surgeries afterwards as well. Thanks to those efforts, Vu Kwok Lin seemed to recover gradually. Now Vu Kwok Lin is a teenager. Medical Korea will consistently pay attention to Vu Kwok Lin's conditions until he fully recovers. Medical Korea gave him a warm hope. The second heartwarming story from Medical Charity Program, a story about Adebayat Rayena, who had suffered from laryngeal papilloma from a very young age. This girl had a frog in her throat from birth and was diagnosed as laryngeal papilloma when she was two years old. She got the first surgery in her home country, but the surgery gave her a vocal cord scar. After a while, Adebayat Rayana became an elementary school student. Her classmates couldn't really understand Rayana's voice. She wanted to get proper treatments to make her voice better. At that time, Medical Korea gave Rayana a helping hand. In October 2023, Rayana and her family visited Korea with the kind guidance of Medical Korea. After that, Rayana took necessary tests and a consultation with the doctor before the surgery at Yesen Voice Center. The surgery began and the medical professionals there operated a microlaryngeal surgery and used KTP laser to remove scar tissues. The surgery was successful and Reina fully recovered through aftercare. With the help of Medical Korea, she could get her real voice back. The third heartwarming story from Medical Charity Program, a story about Manar Bekirli who got surgery several times for laryngeal papilloma. Manar Bekirli was diagnosed as laryngeal papilloma the year he turned 5 years old. After that, he got surgery six times, but his condition recurred every time so he had difficulty in breathing. One day, Yerli had to get an emergency airway incision surgery as he couldn't breathe properly. Due to the surgery, his laryngeal papilloma got worse. Yerli's parents asked for help to Yizen Voice Center so he got the first treatment there in 2022 and he still needed to get additional treatments. However, the financial situation for the family didn't look good due to the long-lasted treatments. At that time, Medical Korea gave them a helping hand. Yerli visited Korea after a year. Thanks to all the efforts and supports of medical professionals, the surgery was very successful. Medical Korea will consistently try to pay attention to Yerli's conditions until he fully recovers. The fourth heartwarming story from Medical Charity Program, a story about a Mongolian girl, Bat Mankyuringich, who got burns treatments. A Mongolian girl, Bat Mankyuringich, had an accident of falling into hot water of pressure cooker when she was one year old. She got burns in the bottom and right thigh from the accident. She needed proper treatments right away, but couldn't get any due to financial issues and poor medical environment there. She started to feel physical inconveniences as she grew up. Hearing this, Medical Korea decided to give her a helping hand. She and her father arrived at Hellam University Hanging Sacred Heart Hospital in 2023. The surgery was scheduled right away. Thanks to Medical Korea's excellent surgical capabilities, the surgery was very successful. After the surgery, Medical Korea also provided her with psychological rehabilitation program to ease her anxiety and fear. With the help of Medical Korea, the father and daughter could be treated both physically and mentally. The fifth heartwarming story from Medical Charity Program, a story about Enkter Myanmar who suffered from osteonectasis, which means bone death. Mr. Myanmar was living in Mongolia with his family. He got a surgery as he felt pain in the back, but he unfortunately lost 70% of his working ability. One day, a volunteer group from Yuha Woman's University Medical Center visited the region where Myanmar lived. Mr. Myanmar was diagnosed with a vascular necrosis of the femoral head and was suggested to get a surgery for that. But he couldn't afford that. Medical Korea gave him a helping hand through its medical charity program. In 2023, Mr. Myanmar and his wife visited Korea. His surgery was operated at the Yuha Woman's University Mokdong Hospital right away. Fortunately, the surgery was successful. Mr. Myanmar recovered very quickly and started to get rehabilitation treatments at the Yuha Woman's University Seoul Hospital. Mr. Myanmar successfully got his treatments done thanks to Medical Korea's heartwarming care. He could get his health and happiness back with the help of Medical Korea.